What's up, YouTube? We've got another MVP Axiom Streamline review for you. Today is the, the Axiom Panic. Thanks, MVP, for sending us these. It was a while ago. Yes. Um, We're just now getting to it, but, but great disc. Yeah. The Panic. Um, the Panic was very stable and very fast. Um, it, when I put it on an Annie, it, you can see it kind of holds it, but I mean, not for very long. It, uh, it, it ended up coming out of it pretty quickly. Uh, how was it for you? Stable, very fast. So when it, you throw it at, you know, 12, 13 speed, it gets out there quick. It, it's a very, very fast disc. Fun to throw. There's an Anheuser. You can just see yeah, how it... you crushed it. Yeah, they, they flew pretty far for me. Um, the bigger rim, I'm, I'm not a fan of the, those 13 speeds, but... Yeah, um, it's just such a wide rim. Yeah, um, they're just... It's so wide. I, it It's crazy because they do, like... When you throw it, it feels like it is just flying out of your hand. Like, it's got some speed. Yeah. And it gets out there quick, but they're just... It's just so wide. Uh, you were crushing You were <laughs> crushing it all day. Um, it, but, flat, hyzer. But it's one of those things where I just didn't feel quite as confident as if it was a 12-speed. Like, it always kind of felt like I was going to have an early release, a grip lock on it, because my hands are medium to small, I'd say. So if you're a bigger, larger hand man yeah. or woman it's going to be good for you as long as you can get it up to speed you will get the distance i mean it is insanely it's not i shouldn't say it's insanely stable no it it was weird um because it still got out there for me like if it were way way over stable i mean i wouldn't be getting the distance that i did i mean i was only getting out to like 300 but still if it were that stable um or if it were as stable as I kind of thought it was going to be, I don't think I'd be getting it out that far. Um, what about forehand? How was it for you? Good. But again, it's so wide. I'm used to throwing... I'm Actually, my favorite speed would be like a 9 speed for forehand. That, that's my comfort zone. I throw a couple 12 speeds, but I'm just not quite as confident. Um, just grip-wise, it's just not... It doesn't feel like I'm getting the best release, but... For a 13 speed, that's one of the better flying 13 speeds I've I've thrown, to be quite honest. It's yeah. Um, of the ones that MVP has sent us, um, this, and then we also had the Dimension. You'll see that yeah. in a few weeks. Um, they were both very, very similar. similar, but they were also... Um, I liked them a lot more mm -hmm. than some of the other ones. They they said that they were overstable, um, and they were, but they were, they were kind of usable. Um, yeah. The thing I was surprised yeah. about was... With your forehand, um, you were getting pretty decent throws, like um, release wise, but it wasn't quite the distance yeah, that I was I expecting out of the that. forehand. Um, got some birds flying around. Um, the overhand was kind of the same way. Uh, with it being that fast, you've. I was trying to crush them. I was probably throwing them at like eighty percent, and I think the the ones that we uh, that we filmed were at like. They got out to close to 300. Um, I was trying to crush my forehands, and they were whatever, 200, 250 feet. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> yeah. Because usually they, they land pretty close, forehand, backhand. I mean, my forehand's not yeah. as far, but... Yeah, but normally I but, was expecting you to yeah. get close to that 400 it's or at least It's probably something to do with that, that big rim because I cannot get quite the snap and generate all that torque on the disc. Just... It could have something to do with that, or it could be me. Um, I still would say it's a great forehand disc. It's going to be dependable as long as you can put snap on it. You yeah. saw. Um, I uh, this was. It's weird to say because it is an overstable 13-speed driver, but of the drivers that they've sent us, this last batch that we got from them, mm -hmm. I think they were my favorite. They were, yeah. they were stable, but. I mean, you still got some distance on them. They were fun to throw. They get out there so fast. They're really fun to watch. It's actually fun to watch from, like, a third person. So I like watching Brad throw. Brad likes yeah. watching me throw because you can just see him shoot out of the hand. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, but, yeah, it's a – if if you need – if you're looking for a high speed, um, which we've both kind of talked about taking a lot of the high speeds out of our bags, but this 
if you're looking for like a high speed kind of stable driver that you can just crush on this Excellent. would definitely be a good choice um, and their discs as always are super pretty yeah um so yeah again thanks to mvp axiom streamline for sending us these um hope you guys like the flight tracker yes uh finally figured that out <laughs> and um check us out on patreon check us out on instagram check us out on the facebook we're everywhere we're everywhere See ya. <laughs>